Hello, this is Martin from DHCA eTools. Welcome to my presentation where I want to introduce a new and very efficient WAF to Lagrangian approach for modeling spray breakup with OpenFOAM. At DHCA eTools, we focus on solutions that are based on open source technology. We provide numerical simulations as a service, in particular based on OpenFOAM and Calculix. Then we develop software, for example, graphical user interfaces, again for OpenFORM and for Calculix. Furthermore, we develop OpenFORM extensions from small customizations up to entire frameworks. For example, we have a particle filter solver and a spray breakup solver, and the latter is covered within this presentation. Why are we working on Woff to Lagrange and extensions? Well, several Woff to Lagrangian approaches already exist in OpenFOAM, and the motivation for the re-implementation of such an extension comes from the current project that we are working on, the Pegasus project. The project is funded by the BMWK, and the main goal is the cost and energy efficient production of metal powder for additive manufacturing. For this, it is essential to produce very small particles and within a uniform range of particle sizes. The powder production is done by injecting liquid metals through a nozzle for atomization. In the Pegasus project, we use a twin fluid atomization approach based on an initial holocone nozzle injection, which is then supported by transonic gas jets to improve the secondary breakup of the droplets. In the corresponding experiments, despite of water and air tests, tin alloys and aluminium melts are injected into an inert gas. From DHCA eTools, we accompany the Pegasus project with simulations in all stages, from conjugated heat transfer and stress simulations up to detailed analysis of fluid gas interaction during the breakup of liquid sheets and droplets. In this presentation, I will go into detail of the fluid gas interaction and the required developments. One of the main benefits from the Woff to Lagrange and Cloud Function objects is the ability to simulate these essential aspects of the project. I want to point out briefly which are the main models from the OpenForms multiphase libraries which are used in the Pegasus project. So first in the holocon nozzle section, we need a volume of fluid approach to separate fluid and gas. The interface is resolved in great detail with the ISER at vector approach and with a fine grid along the region of interest. Then the nozzle exit with the lamella breakup is modeled with a volume of fluid and ISO at vector method too. Furthermore, here it becomes necessary to use an adaptive mesh refinement to resolve the liquid sheet and the large ligaments. After the primary breakup of the liquid sheets, droplets with a suitable size and shape are transformed into Lagrangian particles. With this transformation, the grid can be unrefined again to speed up the simulation. The transformed particles face further breakups. With the parcel approach, a large number of small particles can be modeled efficiently. And for the secondary breakups, models like reitz and pilch erdmann were re-implemented as cloud function objects. With these requirements in mind, let's take a quick look at the entire framework that arose around the Pegasus project. The Woff to Lagrangian functionality was implemented as a cloud function object, and in the very same way, the secondary breakup models and the particle collectors for monitoring and post processing were implemented. With this approach, every cloud based on the kinematic cloud can immediately make use of it. So it is quite easy to use it with a thermal cloud or a reacting cloud, for example, if cooling and solidification of the metal droplets should be considered as well. We need compressible and incompressible solvers for our simulations, and for auxiliary functionality, we need several utilities, function objects, and FE options. So, as you can see, the code structure of OpenFOAM provides excellent means of dealing with all this stuff. 
the Wolf to Lagrangian function is essential because it allows to reduce the grid size for the volume of fluid part and therefore speeds up the simulation indirectly. Of course, the function should not slow down the simulation, so a low CPU cost for droplet identification is important. Amongst other, in particular, the parallel communication for the droplet transformation was minimized. In the chart, you can see the yellow line, which is indicating the time spent for the Wolf-Tool Lagrangian function and for all the particle transport. In comparison to all other equations, it is negligible and in the end, the time for the adaptive mesh refinement and unrefinement becomes dominant. Really important is the stability of the wolf to lagrangian algorithm. For example, one drawback of the existing solutions were occasional crashes. With the use of simple algorithms and data structures, our wolf to lagrangian function revealed to be top stable. Besides the wolf to lagrangian itself, it is necessary to provide stability to the rest of the solver equations. This is done by source term stabilization at the moment of particle creation and grid unrefinement. To be useful, the user must be enabled to select the size and the shape of the droplets that should be transformed. For example, very large droplets should be tracked further with volume of fluid method and isolate vector, while smaller droplets might be transformed as soon as possible. Furthermore, the user should be able to exclude specific regions from the wolf to lagrangian function, for example, to have ligaments and droplets reach the jets for further atomization. Or the algorithm should wait for colliding sprays until the complex interaction is handled by WAF and iso vector completely. I already mentioned before that the implementation as a cloud function objects makes it very easy to use it with other solvers and in other application areas. So we are using actually classic interform, interisoform and compressible interisoform for our simulations. How does the Wolf to Lagrangian algorithm actually work? Well, starting from each unvisited cell, a breath first search is initiated. New cells are stored in a dynamic list, and only a few very basic calculations which are absolutely necessary are performed in the first stage. There are two stages that must be matched for a droplet to be transformed. The cheap criteria checks if the traversed cells are surrounded completely by an empty cell, the cells must be located in an unlocked area, and finally no processor boundary should be hit. Otherwise, the transformation is just postponed a little bit. With the basic matching from stage 1, a few potential candidates are treated in full detail. Droplet size and shape is calculated, center of gravity, velocity, and so on. Finally, after all tests are passed, the new Lagrangian particle is created and the volume of fluid fraction in the cells is set to zero. A constraint term is calculated for the momentum equation and with a cleared alpha field, the grid can be unrefined again. The animation shows the identification process on a single processor step by step. For the validation of the Wolf to Lagrangian algorithm, we took the fuel jet in crossflow benchmark. In particular, here are the results for a Weber number of 1500 with a momentum flux ratio of 10 are presented. Here we started with an initial 4 million cell grid created with snappy hex mesh. With a refinement level of 6, we got around 13 million cells with a dynamic mesh refinement enabled. This benchmark was performed on a 48-core IMD workstation. Typically, the simulations take a few days to run. Most of our spray breakup simulations are done on high-end workstations, although some are outsourced to clusters as well, using around 100 CPU cores there. There are two aspects in the benchmark highlighted here. First is the Sauter mean diameter of the cloud, which is determined at two different planes downstream. The charts show the experimental minimum, maximum and average values in black. The open form results are given as orange marks. 
obviously there is a very good agreement for the particle sizes here. The other aspect is the deflection of the fluid jet. Here the back of the jet is compared to the jet's shape in the experiment's pictures. The average position of the jet is perfectly matched by the simulation. And although it cannot be traced back to our new implementation of the Wolf to Lagrangian functionality, it definitely shows the excellent quality of open foam. Now, here is an example of the application of the Wolf to Lagrangian cloud function object and of the entire framework on a study within the Pegasus project. As long as the injected fluid is tracked with WAF and isoid vector, it is colored in red. After transformation into Lagrangian particles, the color switches to green. Two of the gas jets for the twin fluid atomization are shown here. The gas jets reach up to 450 meters per second, which is a reason to use a compressible solver here. The gas velocity is colorized here in the range from 50 to 450 meters per second. The ISO line for 50 meters per second is given throughout the computational domain with black lines. The gas jets are responsible for a large amount of primary breakup as well as secondary breakup of large droplets. In the lower part of the domain, secondary droplet breakup occurs. A monitoring plane for particle size distribution is shown here at the bottom. This plane is used for runtime monitoring and post-processing. To speed up simulation, small particles with low influence on the gas flow can be removed here. Here we have a close-up view on the fluid jet interaction. Ligaments and large droplets are skipped by the Wolf to Lagrangian function so that they can reach the jets and the breakup is resolved by Wolf and isoid vector in great detail. With the droplets broken up due to a given threshold, the Wolf to Lagrangian function triggers again, creates Lagrangian parcels for further secondary breakup handling with Reitz Divakar or Pilch Erdmann later in the domain. So let's come to the conclusion. For the Pegasus project, we developed an entire open form framework for modeling twin fluid atomization. An essential component of the framework is the Wolf to Lagrangian transformation. Without this transformation, the computational costs for pure Wolf modeling would have been way too expensive. The implementation was validated with a fuel jet and cross flow benchmark. And the Wolf to Lagrangian framework accompanies many aspects of the Pegasus project. For questions that may arise in the long run, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching my presentation.